Hey guys, welcome back to Steve's Backyard Bike and Car Repair Tips. So today, I got chrome switches for the Harley. Um, I don't want to put the chrome housings on the handlebars. I kind of like the combination of black and chrome to go along with kind of the theme on the rest of the bike. So, uh, I've heard these are tricky to do. We're going to find out. Uh, if you're wondering for a Dyna switchback because not even the Harley dealer can find it that easy, that's your part number you want. Um, it does fit a number of models. So there you go. But uh, the kit I had bought prior actually was up for up to an 11 Dyna, which doesn't have some of the top rocker switches for the trip meter and the hazards, and it was going to be a pain and not work properly. So we're going to get into it in a minute. Um, you need your, I believe it's a T25. I'm going to check, and when I come back on the video, I'll let you know exactly. There's two screws on each side to get the housing apart. Then you need a fine small screwdriver that's going to uh, get in behind the switch because you just got to pop them off their little pin that they're on okay so I'll see you in a minute guys okay guys so I was right it is a T25 and then I've got a couple different small screwdrivers so first thing we're going to do is get the top of the housing off you got to screw up here Now we're going to screw down under here. Okay. There we go. Your housing. Put it somewhere where you're not going to drop it and scratch it. And I've actually got a cup for holding my screws. It's magnetic so they don't go away on me. So I think we're going to just take the switches off one by one and do them. It's actually a first shot for me too so we're going to see how this goes. behind. That's one off. I'm going to take my package here. Try and open it up without throwing them everywhere. And they are laid out in the package in the right position for right and left side. So I know now that this is the one I want. And it should just clip right on. It is snug. There we go. So we'll get our next one on. Sorry, that's my charger kicking on because I push buttons. One I think that's probably going to be the trickiest is the signal one down at the bottom. Hope that was a good noise. Oh, that was the other side clipping back in.
I've heard Harley guys, the actual technicians, say that this is tricky, so I can understand their pain now. There's our light switch off. The new chrome one. Okay, so if you see here, two little springs in here, we don't want those to go away. Just be careful they don't fall out when you're taking your piece off. Now for the big turn signal. Okay guys, I'm going to have to come back to you in a minute. It looks like i got to pull the rest of this housing off here to get to the bottom of that signal. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. What I actually did was I actually pulled the top of the switch out, put the screwdriver down through and just pushed down gently and was able to pop that off. So now we can put our turn signal on. Obviously make sure you put your arrow pointing the right way. Okay, everything's on. Seems to be in a good spot. I think I'm going to put my housing back on. Then I'll take the plastic off the buttons. Now I'm going to be doing some work to my handlebars this winter, so I'm not putting Loctite on them, but if you want a little blue Loctite on these screws, just a little bit, doesn't hurt. Okay, and there's the chrome buttons now installed, everything works good. I'm going to do the other side and I'll come back and check you on the end. It's the same procedure just on the other side of the bike so you don't necessarily need to see it. You don't have to take the bottom piece of the housing off, as I uh, explained I actually got the top of the signal switch out and put the small screwdriver down through was able to put enough pressure down just to rock it out um, it may be easier to pull the whole housing off and do it but uh, 
for me in the middle of the video. It worked for me just fine. Okay, guys, uh, I'll check in as soon as I got the other side back together, and uh, we'll have a look at the bike. So here's the finished product, and yeah, the uh, right side went just exactly the same as the left side. Um, pretty easy. It uh, it looks awesome. That's exactly the look I'm going for, so I'm really happy. Um, it's not a real easy install, but it's something that you can do if you got a little patience and you're careful. Uh, once again, don't forget there's little springs and stuff that are in the couple of the switches, so just don't uh, don't let those go flying anywhere. All right, so uh, that's changing over the switches to Chrome, guys. Uh, I hope it's helped you, or at least made you see what you have to do to get it done. If this has helped you or you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're going to be doing more Harley stuff and Honda stuff and tractor stuff. And uh, if you haven't already, if you want to know when I put up more content, tap that bell. Cheers, everybody.